Hello. Welcome to my little art gallery in the toilet. <laughs> toilet. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> I have recently been reading In Praise of Shadows by Tanizaki. Hope I haven't butchered his name. Um, and it really got me thinking about the culture of having artwork in your toilet. It seems to be a very modern trend, but is it as modern as we thought it was? This book was originally written in 1933, um, only translated to English in 1977, and I just wanted to read a couple of passages to you. The parlour may have its charms, but the Japanese toilet truly is a place of spiritual repose. It always stands apart from the main building at the end of a corridor in a grove fragrant with leaves and moss. No words can describe that sensation as one sits in the dim light, basking in the faint glow reflected from the shoji, lost in meditation or gazing out at the garden. The novelist Natsume Sozeki counted his morning trips to the toilet a great pleasure, a physiological delight he called it, and surely there could be no better place to savour this pleasure than a Japanese toilet where, Surrounded by tranquil walls and finely grained wood, one looks out upon blue skies and green leaves. A second quote that I wanted to share with you. Here, I suspect, is where haiku poets over the ages have come by a great many of their ideas. Indeed, one could with some justice claim that of all the elements of Japanese architecture, the toilet is the most aesthetic. Our forebears, making poetry of everything in their lives, transformed what by right should be the most unsanitary room in the house, into a place of unsurpassed elegance, replete with fond associations with the beauties of nature. And further to poets getting their inspiration whilst using the facilities, isn't it said that Archimedes had his eureka moment whilst in the bath? So what is it about the functions that we're performing in these rooms, or the rooms themselves, that cause us to have great ideas? Is it that the functions we're performing are automatic, like brushing our teeth or washing, that we don't have to think about them and therefore our mind is freed up to, to think about other things? Or is it that these spaces are generally a safe space, a nice, quiet, safe space in which to think? This is a place without interruption. This book has made me think about whether I get my best ideas in the bathroom. I certainly have inspiring art on the walls. I've got prints from other photographers. This is Kit Young. This is a guy called Peter. For me, many of my best ideas come when I'm in the shower, and I think that's because I have a set process of how I do things, and therefore I don't have to think about it anymore. It's an automatic process, leaving my mind free to come up with photographic ideas. So what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. I'm really keen to open this discussion up and see what we come up with.